Now, the giant schnauzer has a little bit of a different hock assembly than you'd see on a lot of terriers. I keep comparing them to terriers because they're similar, but there's a lot of differences. On most terriers, the standard calls for a well let down hock. But in these guys, you actually have a little bit of a higher hock. So we want to just come off this hock, and then we're going to go straight down. You want to have nice perpendicular hocks. Because if you leave a big flare and come in, the dog's going to look sickle-hocked. And that is kind of synonymous with weakness in this breed. So you want to have a nice, strong, perpendicular hock. Because we want these dogs to look like they can do their job. And then you also want to see a little bit of a foot. You don't want this, the, front leg, the front line of the leg to come down into the toe. You want to see the bend of the knee coming in to the hock, and then having a little bit of a foot. So to get this definition, I will pick up this leg. And I usually use blenders here. But I just scissor, almost in a straight line when it's extended like this. Scissor off all these edges. And you'll find when you set it down, it kind of naturally makes this shape. And then you just neaten it up many little sticky outies. Sometimes, once in a while, I will come up just to make sure I don't have any huge, long pieces of hair hiding out. And then neaten with the blenders. These blenders are a great tool for this kind of coat. They just go right through it and make everything look really, really smooth. Once you get used to it, this is really kind of a fun texture of hair to scissor. There's nothing really quite like it that I've seen in other breeds. Now you can see that we've set our angulation in. Got a nice little foot. We can maybe take a little bit more off the front of the stifle area. And if you see stuff like this that can't be pulled out, you can just take thinners or blenders and smooth this area out. Because when we're done, we want everything to flow together smoothly. You don't want to see any little hairy spots or bumps or rough spots. If you find that your eye is being drawn to something, it's probably because there's something off about it. So if you are looking at a dog and you stand back, you keep going back to the same spot, it's probably because it needs to be fixed.